Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this Flutter development tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use the pop up menu button here to switch between images. Okay, and here we've got the accompanying website article. It does contain all the code descriptions of the code that will be going into this episode. So if you want to go through this instead of watching the tutorial um, or using this to support this tutorial by all means. This is episode number two where we set up the pop-up menu. So what we'll do first is just jump across to our pop-up to our Android Studio. And what I'm going to do here first is just create a photo class. And this class is just going to be a container for details about the class, such as the title name and the URL address. So I will mute this. Okay. So we'll create a class. I'm just going to call it photo. And it's going to have a couple elements. I'm going to use a text widget for the title. Notice how I'm using final, so it can only be set once. And I'm also going to create another member for photo, and it's going to be of the type string, and it's going to take the URL. Okay, and I want to set up a class constructor. And note what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call the const keyword, so instances of this photo object will be created during compile time. Now I'm going to call photo for the constructor, set up round braces and curly braces so we can represent these uh, parameters as named parameters. So we'll call this keyword first to initialize the title and do the same for URL and make sure we put a semicolon on the end there. Okay, so that's the class, that's a photo type and it's going to be an object. This is going to contain our basic information. Now I want to create a list of these photo classes. So again, this is going to be a const and it's going to be a list and it's going to be of the type photo. And I'm going to give this a name called photos. And inside here, I can set up a list of the type of photos. And now I'm going to use the square braces here, which is the dart representation of how you can create a list. And so we can just populate our list. And I'm going to use the const keyword. So we're going to create an uh, instant, uh, create instances of of uh, of the list during compile time, so it'd be const of photo, and the first thing because it's a named parameter, we can just call title, and the title is going to be of type text. We need to create a text. Sorry, that should not be new. It should, it's got to be const because this all gets created during compile time. So we need to use the const keyword instead of new, and select text and we can just give it a name called image one okay that's the first parameter argument the next one is setting up the uri and the uri i'm going to actually need to get all these uris from i can use the underscore image one for here and we'll just put a comma on the end there. Okay, I want to add a couple more um, uh, photos with different URIs just, to, just so we can know that we're switched between different widgets. And so I do need to pop across to our article here. And if we just scroll on down here, you can see I've added two more URIs. So I'm just going to copy those. If we jump across back to our Android Studio and we can just paste those in there. Okay, now let's finish um, completing our list. Um, I'm going to use Command D to make a copy of that and then just go back to one. We want to change that to two. And 
and I'll change this to two as well and make another copy there and change that to three title for image three and and let's go to and change that to your image three okay so that's our list of the uh, photo instances now set up now we'll add the pop-up menu to the uh, app bar and so first thing I want to do is to set up a default value for our photos so we'll create a uh, we'll call that selected photos and we can get that from our photos array select the first element in there okay now what I'm going to do is just add the uh, pop-up menu and we'll go into app bar under app bar um, we have the actions uh, list there which will put a number of widgets into our app bar we only want to put the pop-up menu there so we'll create a new pop-up menu button and just let me tidy this up first okay so inside the pop-up menu button we've got the item builder property here and this provides us with the context application context which we need to use and provide it with curly braces there okay so inside the item builder we want to return a list so we can return our photos that have been created already created for us list of photos set up a map for that and from here we can get the actual photo type itself put in curly braces let's complete this get rid of this error first the map does need to return a list we could just call to list method on that put a semicolon on the end there okay so we've got the photos map there the information that we want to return back we do want to return um, the pop-up menu item itself just let me tidy that up first and we'll need to put a semicolon on the end of that Okay, so the pop-up menu item itself requires a child, and we'll just use a list tile for that. And set up a title for that, and we can get the title now from the photo. And select title there. Okay, that should be enough code in place there, just to add the pop-up menu to our app bar so I'm going to do a hot reload there and then watch what happens to the application okay we can now see the menu button there if I select that we've got all three images being displayed there nothing yet happens yet we haven't put the code in place for that just at this moment now I want to add some images to the uh, pop-up menu button there so I'll add that I'll add that property to the uh, photo class and it's going to be of the type icon and I can just call it icon and we we'll need to add support there in the constructor make it a name parameter such as the others and well when we're creating our list here this is where it will need to be added so where are we inside the class photo okay and so this would be icon and I'm gonna to have to use the const keyword here of the type icon and we'll set up icons looks like one okay and now I'll do the same for the others there so just let me paste in this line into the following two lines there and we'll go down here do the same 
Okay, and we just need to change the icons for each one. So we'll change this one to two. And this one to three. Okay, so we've now added support into the photo and into our list for icons. So we just need to go down there and set it up inside our pop-up menu item. So inside, we can do that inside our list tile. List tile provides our support for icons. And leading is basically where we want to put the icon in front of the title. So we can call it leading. And it's just a matter of calling photo and icon okay now let's do a let me just remove that and now let's do a hot re-swap a hot reload and now let's click on the menu and as you can see we've now got the icons being put in front of the title okay now we'll set up interactivity for our um, uh, state class load image state so, so when we select an item in the pop-up menu item we'll switch to a new photo okay so I do need to create a, a new method here that's going to be a void method and we'll just call this selected photo and it's gonna we're gonna pass in the parameter of the photo type. We'll call that photo. Okay, when this gets called, um, it's gonna hold the a new photo. So I need we'll need the display to be refreshed, reloaded. And to do that, I'll call set state. And from inside there, I can now call underscore selected photos equals photo semicolon name that okay and so while we're there we've got underscore selected photos which is the default we do need to change the um, parameter inside the constructor for image URI to use that so we'll just change that now and it'll be selected photos and pass in the URI URL property okay now we can go through and return um, uh, re turn whatever gets selected from the pop-up menu item and so there we have the pop-up menu item there it gives us another parameter called value and if I do f1 on value and it's the value returned by basically when the entry is selected and what we want to return here is the photo here we got here the photo parameter And we will have to do something similar inside our pop-up menu button. It's got one uh, property item uh, builder. And let me add a, another property underneath that called on selected. And this is, if I do an F1 on on selected. And as you can see there, it's going to take a anonymous function, which is expected the uh, photo uh, a parameter of the photo type and so we can use our selected photo because it uh, it uses a photo type so it's just a matter of calling down here selected photo here okay and those should be the only changes we need to make. So let's do a hot re-swap now. And I'm going to go up to the menu here. I'm already on menu one. So let's select image two. This is now being downloaded first. It might take a little bit of time because I made these images quite large. And here's the image there. Um, what you'll notice here, if we go back to image one, it is now in the, there's a local copy which we call caching. There's a local copy inside the application itself. But if we go to image three, again, it needs to download it. And if we want to switch back to it again, it will be in the cache. And so if I go to image two and image three, 
they now reload a lot quicker because they're inside the application cache. And that completes this episode of where we just showed you how you can insert a pop-up menu into the tab bar itself. And we also um, implemented a photo class and a list of those photo classes just so we had the information of the URI and we gave them a title and an icon as well just to make it look a little bit nicer. And you'll notice that when we we're downloading the images, the download took a bit of time, but after the download completed, Flutter itself puts those images into what's called global cache. And so if you want to reload them, instead of downloading them from the uh, network internet again, uh, they will just get accessed from a local storage inside the device itself. And that all happens under the hood in Flutter. Okay, if we go down here, we'll see that the next episode of following a week later is going to be implementing a drawer instead, uh, a drawer as well as the pop-up menu itself. We're just showing you different ways of reloading image widgets. And so we'll use the drawer. It's very similar to the drawer that you'll see in um, Android, that Android uses itself. And please note, I don't really have the opportunity to respond to questions in YouTube itself. So think about that before you actually take the time to write a question. But if you really do require my help, I do, as part of bringing in money to help sustain this channel, I do have a Code Mentor account. I'll put a link above there. And that's why I pay provide paid consultancy support for those who want to learn about the uh, Flutter, Dart, Kotlin, Android, or if they want me to help them out on their projects as well. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this one. Bye for now.